Scott and Logan here with your morning announcements for Thursday, February 14th, 2019. The Central Valley Warriors will be hosting two upcoming home meets. They will play Wednesday, February 20th at 3.30 against Hopewell and Rochester. Please come out and support the Warriors. In addition, the CV Bocce team is selling t-shirts this week. The cost will be $10. You will receive a Google form in your email later in the week if you would like to order one. Attention seniors! There are numerous scholarship applications that are available in the Guidance Counselor's Office and will soon be posted on the website. Please take advantage. Application deadlines are coming up for some of them. All senior project paperwork is due Monday, April 1st. The date to present is Friday, April 26th. Please see Mrs. Koslick or Mrs. Jones with any questions. Attention seniors, please see Mrs. Jones if senior project hours are still needed. Attention all NHS members, new and old. Please check your CV email for important announcements. That's all we have for your announcements today, CV. Have a great day. Hey, what's up? We're back with CV TV's newest segment, Riddle of the Week. All right, CV, I got one here for you. Is an older $100 bill worth more than a new one? I'll let you think. Let me stay going on one. You gotta think of the wordplay on these ones, guys. I mean, you just gotta pick up on them. Have a good day. Hi, CV. It's Santina here, and I'm going to be talking about President Trump's State of the Union speech on February 5th of 2019. The State of the Union is an annual message delivered by the U.S. President to a joint session of the U.S. Congress at the beginning of each calendar year in office. According to Trump, his agenda is not a Republican agenda or a Democrat agenda. It is the agenda of the American people. Administration officials pushed the idea that Trump would extend an olive branch to Democrats and urge the two warring parties to come together for the good of the country. He started on just that and said, there is a new opportunity in American politics. If only we have the courage to seize it. The president said in his speech earlier moments, victory is not winning for our party, victory is winning for our country. Surprisingly, Trump said, all Americans can be proud that we have more women in the workforce than ever before. In exactly one century after the Congress passed the constitutional amendment giving women the right to vote, we also have more women serving in the Congress than ever before. I call upon all of us to set aside our differences to seek out common ground and to summon the unity we need to deliver for the people. The speech was patriotic and was delivered in a reassuring tone. It reflected a president at a crossroads ahead of an uncertain 2019. Trump threatened to invoke a state of emergency along the southern border with Mexico, but Congress refused to give him $5.7 billion for a border wall. African-American unemployment stands at the lowest rate ever recorded. The stock market has smashed one record after another, gaining $8 trillion and more in value in just this short period of time. 
We have eliminated more regulations in our first year than any administration in the history of our country. We have ended the war on American energy, and we have ended the war on beautiful, clean coal. We America has also finally turned the page on decades of unfair trade deals that sacrificed our prosperity and shipped away our companies, our jobs, and our wealth. The era of economic surrender is totally over. We built the Empire State Building in just one year. Isn't it a disgrace that it can now take 10 years just to get a minor permit approved for the building of a simple road? The sacred duty of every elected official in this chamber is to defend Americans to protect their safety, their families, their communities, and their right to the American dream. Because Americans are dreamers, too. We must modernize and rebuild our nuclear arsenal, hopefully never having to use it, but making it so strong and so powerful that it will deter any acts of aggression by any other nation or anyone else. In the past, we have foolishly released hundreds and hundreds of dangerous territories, only to meet them again on the battlefield. So today, I'm keeping another promise. I just signed, prior to walking in, an order directing Secretary Mattis, who is doing a great job. Thank you. To re-examine our military detention policy and to keep open the detention facilities in Guantanamo Bay, I am asking Congress to pass legislation to help ensure American foreign assistance dollars always serve American interests and only go to friends of America. And freedom stands tall over one more monument, this one, this capital, this living monument. This is the monument to the American people. Thanks for tuning in today, CV. Have an awesome day.